So my son, trying to get out of school last week, ran up to me and said, Dad, I think I have a temperature. To which I replied, anything that breathes has a temperature, just to varying degrees. The day you don't register one is the day I'll be concerned. The Garage Comedian. It's a beautiful day for a joke. First off, if I sound a little nasally in this episode, I apologize in advance. I'm a little under the weather, but then aren't we all? So lots of cold mornings these days. This is the time of the year where you just stay cocooned in your warmth for as long as you possibly can. The alarm clock becomes your mortal enemy. As soon as it goes off, the first thing you think is, how many more minutes can I steal? And then if I do steal a few more minutes now, how is that going to impact me later? Am I going to shave time in the shower? Will I not be able to cut up all my vegetables for work? Will I not be able to heat and warm up the car? Should I already burn a sick day and it's only January? And I was talking about this with the women at work the other day, just about staying in bed in your little warmth for as long as you can. And they, they have these cute little expressions like, oh yeah, it was just as snug as a bug in a rug. I said, you do realize any bug which is snug in a rug is dead, right? There's a reason it's in there. Basically what you're saying is, I feel like a deceased insect. You might want to keep those thoughts to yourself. Ever notice in a movie when people need to get around all stealthy in a building, they go up through the air ducts? Those ear ducts, which are conveniently eight feet in diameter and can accommodate a man who's 6'2 and 200 pounds? I'd love to hear the sales pitch that got someone to sign off on an eight foot in diameter air duct unit. Yeah, here at the Dunkin' Donut, you're gonna need an HVAC system that can crank up to 25,000 CFMs. Yeah, I think we should go with the big boy. Really, you think we need that much airflow? Oh, you never know. It's good to have that full body HVAC system. But wouldn't that kind of be like owning a Porsche and operating it in a school zone? Sure, it's great, it can hit 150, but if I can only go 20 miles an hour, difference does it make? Well, you could always use it for dead body storage. Oh, that's a great idea. Thank you. Yes, sign me up for that. I think most people are mildly obsessed with temperature or just weather in general. And they swear by their little weather apps. They need to have those. The other day I was actually looking out the window and I said to my wife, oh, it's, it's snowing. You know, come on in here. Look out the window. It's snowing. She yells back. Oh, let me check my phone. Check your phone. So from across the room, she's like, oh yeah, it is. She shows me her phone with simulated snowflakes. The real thing is is right here. Just six more steps and you can look out the window with me. It was actually at that moment I decided, you know what, I'm not using any more weather apps. I'm just gonna look out the window like my ancestors did 200 years ago. I'll, I'll open the door, get a hint of what the temperature is, and dress accordingly. Though I must admit my first time out of the gate, didn't go exactly how I hoped. So I work from home most of the time and I do like to go for walks on my lunch break. They're about 45 minutes. So I looked out the window. I saw that it was a bit cloudy, a little overcast, but not too bad. I dressed appropriately or so I thought. About halfway through my walk, the skies opened up out of nowhere. Well, at least out of nowhere to me because I, I didn't check my weather app. In an instant, it changed my leisurely afternoon stroll into a frantic midday run. Oh, and I was instantly soaked. It looked like I cannonballed into a pool. It was horrible. I could barely see through my glasses. They were all wet and foggy, but I could see well enough that when I looked at the neighbor's homes on either side, I could see people in the windows applauding my efforts. Like I was some kind of weekend warrior who signed up for this. No, I'm just a middle-aged man trying to get home to his cat. And on my exasperated run, I passed Ernie. He's this old timer that I see every day on my walk. He's out there on his front porch and he yells out, Davy, you're really committed. I said, no, Ern, I should be committed. I'm an idiot. All I had to do was look at the phone. I could have seen this on my app. I would have known what was coming. Look at me. So then I finally get triumphantly home. I feel like Andy from the Shawshank Redemption. My legs feel like jello and I see Kitty at the door to greet me and I open it up. Kitty starts backing away. Come back, Kitty. Daddy wants to love you. You're making daddy really sad. I'll tell you what though, that run for the roses made me realize just how out of shape I am. I used to have a gym membership. I canceled it though because I was trying to cut expenses back and I was weighing wants versus needs and that was the casualty. Although I tried to get them to come down on my monthly fee, my monthly cost, I did ask them. So I was paying $60 per month for my membership fee. And so I went in, I saw the lady at the front and I said, hey, look, is there any way you can work with me on this? And I'm trying to get this down a little bit lower. She said, nope, just like that. No, that's your fee. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to cancel my membership then. So then she does one of these. She looks over her glasses and goes, uh, so you, uh, you met your goal with Tiffany? I said, just cancel my membership. And so then I had to wait out there for about 10 minutes to get all this paperwork done. I don't know what they were doing. So 10 minutes later, finally I get it done. As I'm walking out, she says, oh, hey, before you go, would you be interested in a half price membership for six months? I just asked you that 11 minutes ago when you told me no. 
What am I in Bizarro World? She said, now that you're not an active member, I can extend this special offer to you because now you'd be considered a win back for us. And I'm actually just three away from hitting my objective. Woohoo! with two more days to go in the month. So then I looked down over my glasses and said, oh, you haven't made your goal yet? Yeah, I'd rather take that $30 per month, buy produce, not eat it, and let it decompose and sit on my kitchen table than give it to you people. And tell Tiffany I said bye. Or, or bye, as you say it in the South. Bye. I'm out of here. And now it's time for a hot day. So why do they call it human resources at work? I mean, isn't that a given? Aren't we all humans? Are they servicing another population? Is there an Area 51 situation going on here? Think about it. This has been another hot day. Have you ever met anyone who either downplays everything or overreacts about everything? It's either one way or the other. I was watching the Weather Channel and the journalist described the conditions as gusty. It was a Cat 4 hurricane with 140 mile per hour winds. There was a roof being torn off in the background. This would have been the same guy saying, it's only a flesh wound from Monty Python. Then you have the complete other side of the scale, the overreactors, the ones who have mastered the inhale. You know, the <gasps> I propose that inhaled breathing should be reserved for deaths or tragic news only. My platform, My platform for 2020, 2020 is that, is that people, people should, should only, only use inhales, inhales for, death for death or tragic, or tragic news. news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other day, my wife inhaled. <gasps> I said, what's wrong? She said, Sally left her favorite sweater at the Outback. Really? Yeah, really, it happened. Well, perhaps she could drive the six miles back to the Outback and, and get it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying now, but she's worried that it might be gone. I think she'll be fine. I don't know anyone who goes to the Outback in hopes of scoring a pre-worn woman's sweater. Okay, all my savvy atmospheric aficionados, I'm heading back on up to bed. Gonna get all cozy, just like a deceased insect. So until next week, I'll see you then. I love you. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more funny videos like this, click the subscribe button. New episodes launch each Monday. The more you know. Bow, now, now, now.